Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you was too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. I appreciate it. Sure. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. Welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Break. I'm Burning Dog Face. And editing that uh, live action episode is going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> God, it must have stopped ten times. Content buffering. I guess it's streaming the content from a f server somewhere. Um. Hopefully I, uh, created enough overlap that you won't see a single one, but goddamn. The video must be in 20 pieces. Oh, I wanted to check something. Since I saw the symbols for the, uh, the quantum... What's it called? Uh... Ripples. But, uh, I still don't remember what they were. I don't get it. I don't remember finding, uh, a, uh, like an invitation that I picked up and took with me. Cause, Pebble. Senior broker Haskins loses his gala invitation. Intentional? Sabotage? Accident? Effect? Haskins is late to the gala. His wife divorces him. Haska on a burnout leave. Haskins' invention is sold on eBay by someone using a pseudonym Blanche McDougal. Large numbers of monarch butterflies found dead from coast to coast. I am so okay with this one. Haskins is such an asshole. Mm. Nobody likes working with that guy. I know that feeling. I spat in his coffee once. Wow. Um, okay. Believe me, he had it coming. And then some. Probably shouldn't put that on the record, though. I'll make sure to erase that. Don't worry. Hmm. An athletic dinosaur experiences an unscheduled departure. What? I, again, I don't get it. How, how was I responsible for that being there? A standee of a T-Rex with a football and the text Rexes appears out of nowhere in the industrial area in 2010. A time travel closed loop? A paradox? A prank? A closed loop? Is, are there any? Effects. The new Riverport football team Riverport Rexes is formed and adapts the T-Rex as their mascot in 2011. Due to university fraternity prank, really. The standee ends up on Gull Island in a rowboat. An identical, the same, standee goes missing at Ground Zero in 2016. Ground Zero drone surveillance inventory. 
Again with the time travel? We know it's possible. Yeah, but it doesn't follow that every single thing is... No, look, wait, this one, though. It appeared right out of thin air. Well, out of thin air! Time travel doesn't really work like... OUT OF THIN AIR! He uses a green pen for office work. If anyone who's played this game knows how I was responsible for those things, I would really like to know. Also, after that conversation with Paul, I'm more convinced than ever that he would absolutely choose uh, to personally meet with uh, Jack. Whoa. My cover isn't going to survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Cool. Mildly reluctant that I missed the, or regretful that I missed the, uh, the hinges moving. But let's face it, I'm probably gonna have to do this level over again at some point. Come on, let's go. Hey! He's escaping! Oh shit, it's that guy. It's about time. Finally, a melee attack. I didn't even mean that as a pun. That will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Boop. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, we're gonna have to move faster to get through. Who put the button away the fuck? Oh, okay, I guess. That's a security feature, so the guy assigned here pushes the button and lets you through. Wow. What is with this area? Why is everything so overgrown? There's stuff actively going on here. Oh, no fishing, that's what that means. You look important. Beth. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Nothing of any importance detected. Why? Oh, why is there a fucking refrigerator here? Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. The National Park Service welcomes you to Riverport Coastal Defense. This well, the monument was 20, 219 steps. Persons with heart and respiratory conditions are advised not to climb. Persons under age 14 must be accompanied by an adult. If you climb, take your time, watch your steps. Uh, your step. Do not throw any objects out of the windows or down the shaft. Food, drinks, smoking, and pets are not permitted in the monument. Any questions or problems, please ask a ranger. Riverport Coastal Defenses Monument. Riverport National His Historical Park. I guess, yeah, this must have been some kind of military installation during wartime. Well, that sucks. Oh, hell. 
warn me about that one, Beth. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Mmm, delicious. In my brain, I always think large machine gun. Man, that blinking really needs to be more obvious. Okay, here we go. All right, I haven't missed anything so far. After faking his surrender, Jack makes his way across Gull Island to kidnap Dr. Sophia Amaral, the scientist who can make the time machine work. All right. Oh, he's talking about the, the upgrade. The pointer redo I found. Yeah, nothing. I do find it ominous that it stows one more Chronon sources for next available for next upgrade point, given that all of the ones I found so far have been, you know, one. You skids are collaborators. Well, that was amazing. So, uh, no any good jokes while we wait for me to obliterate you? Well, this whole thing is going up. I was going to say fuck it and just head off, but now I kind of want to see that. Yeah, yeah, look, coastal defenses. Ancient ass, uh... Cannon. I'm guessing that, uh, it's been a while since, you know, this has even been a tourist attraction, given the way that, uh, everything has fallen into such shitty disrepair. Um... Hmm. I was not expecting that level of smoke. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Uh, up you go. Fair enough. I also detect a uh, Brunan source. Abrica lift. again. Like, that just seems like it could happen, uh, from disrepair over the course of years. Take the blame for the mess he made. HQ, we hey guys, I'm gonna kill you. What in the hell? Why does it keep deactivating my bubbles? Time felt broken here. Oh, good. Uh, this coastal defense, the coastal defense installation, and if I go here. All right, so I don't need to uh, just zoom in and read it in, in world. Gull Island sign, Riverport Coastal Defenses. 
I think they spelled Defenses of the Sea earlier. Whatever. The coastal defense installation of Riverport was commissioned on August 2nd, 1940, called it, and wartime, and completed in September 1942 as America faced the realities of World War II. In addition to the fortifications and artillery, it also boasted an extensive tunnel system that linked Gull Island to the mainland, enabling free movement of personnel and material, even under siege conditions. It was built in preparation for an attack on the United States that, fortunately, never came. The original plan also called for the construction of a large naval base in Riverport to support the U.S. Navy in the Atlantic, taking advantage of the local shipbuilding industry. But as the United States entered World War II after Pearl Harbor, a change in resourcing priorities led to those plans being scrapped. This installation was in active use throughout the war, and the underground facilities continued to be used as a base for for Navy intelligence, For Navy intelligence work, once World War II ended, this installation was decommissioned in 1961. Neat! The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. Hmm... No. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Yeah, I get it. I just don't want to do it. Oh, I see. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. Okay, quicker next time. I don't like the ripples that I keep seeing appearing in the water. It's freaking me out. They don't look like waves. Well, they don't look like water waves, they look like chronon waves. I wonder if the developers have ever actually heard fireworks, because, uh, that ain't what they sound like. What the hell are you doing up here? You're the one I just got rid of! It's just a pistol. I don't need that. Hmm. So I guess that was the workman who dismantled this cannon? I thought there was another one down there somewhere. It would give me extra ammo, but whatever. Just checking. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you. wonder if that's considered a stutter. Beth getting captured and then executed would seem to be a pretty big... Oh, hey! Huh. Somebody said it's because they both got power. 
Bruce. Yes, you know. But I heard it was something personal, too. Well, I guess they're heading off then. This is a good place to call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Quantum Break when I take on this, uh, what messy installation. Oh. Later!